live right now or no. It's already recording. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I let it record. <laughs> yeah, it's more natural, came. right? <laughs> yeah, it's more natural. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. When I first, because uh, I did it with Daniel. Yeah, Daniel. Uh, I was like, you know, it was my first episode, so I yeah. was, did the whole introduction and asking him, because I had like a bunch of questions all written up. Yeah. After like watching it, I was like, you know, this sounds like more of like an interrogation. Inter- or, interview. Or like or an interview, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, more nervous. Yeah, exactly. You just yeah. kind of just talk and yeah. like whatever comes up, comes up. Because yeah, the more, I, I feel like the more thing you prepare, the more nervous you'll get as a host too, you know? Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. you're like, okay, did I ask him this question, man? What's next? Yeah, we should you, ask You overthink this. this whole shit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, what made you get into this? To be honest, like... Uh, a lot of reasons. Every guest that comes in, they ask me that question, right? <laughs> yeah, question like, like, yeah, because it's the first time, like, especially an Afghan guy and yeah, somebody who's doing podcasts in Lower Mainland Vancouver. Yeah, Vancouver. But you don't see that. It's, no. it's not so common. Yeah. So I was like, you know, why not? You know, like, it doesn't hurt. Do something more uh, productive than you know, with the whole lockdown shit happened yeah. like, last last year. Yeah. So look at us. We're just sitting down doing nothing. Yeah. Like I, I can do. And digital creation got very popular. Yeah. Because everything was going online. Everything was like digital, Mm. you know? Yeah. You know what's cool is too, like with podcasts, it's just like you talk to so many different people. Yeah. And it's like when you talk to different people, you learn like something new all the time. That's right, yeah. I I listen to Joe Rogan a lot. So like... uh, (laughs) Yeah. I, I know like his podcast is like it's so like, natural right? so natural right yeah. and they just talk and it just flows and then like you know he just learned so much like and then even as people watching they're like okay like this is a sick one like, <laughs> I want to learn something too you know <laughs> so it's yeah, that, that was the other reason the other reason was like there's so many like hidden talents in Vancouver yeah fighters entrepreneurs business owners mm. was, like you know like it's another way to give them some recognition yeah uh, you know Probably like a platform to like share their views and on stuff and mm. nobody here talks about this kind of stuff. Yeah, nobody talks. No, about no nobody. Yeah. Just like when you're watching like podcasts, you're watching people like Joe Rogan, right? He's in the states. Yeah. Yeah. But there's no popular like podcasters that in, in, no in Canada nothing. too. Yeah, in Canada. I was gonna say in Canada. Canada like like forget about BC. It's yeah, like the whole Canada, nation, right? Canada. Mm. Nobody. Bro, like as a nation in Canada, we like are so like second to America yeah, yeah, yeah. bro and so many things and it's crazy yeah. because like the people in Canada are actually way better people like in my opinion yeah, like, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean like like Americans like they're like so like self driven like just live by the flag live, in Canada like flag. love all cultures you know for the most part at least yeah. <laughs> you know you don't see all that racist stuff that yeah, you yeah, see like in the, in the states, states right? yeah. it's crazy yeah super crazy there's but, a lot of things that Vancouver is lacking on a lot of things, right? There's a lot of things. Yeah, but it's such a sports. like developed place. Sports, yeah, sports, sports, big one. Right? Sports is a big one. Yeah, it's, it's a big one. Mm. And any sports? It? Just, it's just based on hockey, uh, you know, white caps and all those other. Yeah, things. and like and hockey, like you have to be like wealthy as a family to yeah, like yeah, afford your kids to, to play, to, yeah, right? Yeah. Like I, I before getting into MMA, like I got, I was trying to play soccer, right? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. so, like I was born in Russia and then I like moved to Germany. And I played uh, in Germany for like my whole like kid life, right? And then when we moved here, there's like nothing, bro. There's like no like over there. It's like they push you to go play, like yeah. go play sports, you know? Yeah, yeah bringing up Germany, yeah. Like if you want to become a soccer player, that's the place you gotta be. Germany, because right? how much money they spend on player development, uh, health, yeah, uh, athletes, you know, bringing the best coaches, what trainers. Yeah, they have so much passion. Play. So much passion, right? Yeah. Because they've been doing it for a long time. Yeah. It's so and it's not money driven. Like over here, like man, Everything. like, everything's yeah. money driven. It's like that's how it is. Yeah, like you do anything, you got a piece. You gotta yeah. pay yeah. like a lot of money, yeah. right? You do something small, like the other day I was talking about like getting a drone and stuff, right? Yeah. And I was telling him like now you need a permit. You need a permit, eh? To like even fly that shit. Wow, that's crazy. I was like, you know, this is stupid. Like, yeah. Yeah, like, you gotta spend three k on a drone, then you gotta pay whatever amount the fees is for the the permit, and you can only fly like I think in certain places. Yeah, yeah certain places, bro. That, that you mentioned that we went like uh, a couple of years ago. We went like uh, boating with a friend. He brought a drone to follow him, and uh, it like went into like some sort of area. I guess it was the states, the water, yeah, yeah. Came, and the drone stopped. It oh, didn't. Shit. It didn't keep flying. It was crazy, bro. Like he when he was like telling me the story, like because 
I was at the shore and they went boating in the morning and I was, they came and picked me up and they were telling me. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's really crazy. Like the drone like just stopped. It like, just stops, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think if you go... Hovers. Yeah, it hovers. I think there's like a features to it. Like uh, if you lose sight of it, yeah. I, I think the drone just stops. And I think you just press a button and it comes back to, to the owner. To the owner, right? Oh, wow. So, so crazy, bro. I watched your last fight, man. But congratulations. Oh, already, thank man. you, bro. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was a good fight. Submission win. Yeah, it was a uh, tough Bant opponent. You're in Bantamweight, right? Bantamweight, yeah, yeah. Which is like, what, 145? Uh, 135. 135. 135, yeah, yeah. So I cut about like 20 pounds for that fight. Usually, yeah. like, most fighters cut between like 30 to 40 pounds. Like usually for me, and the like natural weight is what? Like? 155. Okay, okay. 155, like. And you've been fighting Bantamweight all your life, right? Yeah, but well, I have fought uh, 145 as well, and uh, between yeah, between those two, 145 or 135. Yeah, right yeah. Then, so. What's the next goal to fight in the next card? June, June 4th. Yeah, or? June 4th. Or is it too I'm soon? I'm hoping. Um, I got a few things. Yeah. Uh, like in the works, like. Um, that I want to kind of do and um, I'm helping like my girlfriend's dad uh, set up a business as well oh nice, nice. so he's uh, getting into like a cannabis oh shit sure, yeah sure, nice. so it's like kind of that industry is like growing a lot um, so he's trying to get into it but I worked in restaurants before yeah, yeah. and uh, just like I was managing restaurants I was managing my mom's like subway back in the day like when i was like, 16 15 years old my uncle's like coffee shops and stuff like that so um i'm just helping him set up like you know you know what it takes to be yeah, in the no, business no. right yeah so helping him set up but it's 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 worth the route he's going i'm surprised like cannabis you know so is it like a dispensary he's trying to open or just like uh, yeah retail or oh, retail yeah, yeah so dispensary yeah not not growing and stuff. Not growing, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> growing, I think, is like a super hard avenue, but it's good money, man. But a lot good, of good money, yeah. That's what I was gonna ask, cause uh, I had a friend who got into the dispensary, yeah. and he saw like how much money the, the growers make. Then a I lot. think he bought like a, I don't know how much, how many acres. I don't know what the the guidelines are. Yeah, like to grow and stuff. It's super it's, strict. Like you have to like spend money to buy the land you have to like set everything up and then like you get an inspector to come in and then they can like be like oh no this isn't right this isn't right this isn't right so then you got to do it all over again right so yeah, man. Those, those governments man they always try to suck you for everything yeah for everything bro this 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 whole world is like it's set up for you to like work and go home and get up and work and like you know that's yeah, kind yeah. of like the life they set you up for right yeah as soon as you graduate high school that's, yeah. that's the life they set up you for Get your post secondary, you know, get a degree and go from there nine to five. Nine to five, right? Like and work for till you're dead. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, you may retire at sixty, sixty five, but what the hell can you do man? At sixty five, yeah. right? Sixty five, right? <laughs> you got, like, get your pension for like two K a month, whatever it is now. Yeah. Sixty five, like who knows you're even alive. Yeah, right, but like what the average life is like what, seventy five, eighty five, yeah, something yeah. like that, right? So Few years to live, you ten know. years to live, if that, right? <laughs> like, it's crazy, man. But this are you world. coaching still? Uh, Tristar, Tristar, yeah. I coach like uh, the Jiu Jitsu class yeah. for uh, beginners. Right now, we're like locked down. Yeah, that's the shitty thing, right? Yeah, right. Like yeah, all business. these businesses, it's like small businesses. Like, you look at like restaurants a lot, right? Yeah, the hospitality in general. Mm. Big time effect. Big time effect. But then you see like Bonnie Henry, she owns a winery. Yeah, she owns a winery. And she man. left that open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, that's crazy. Yeah, man. I, I don't know, man. Like I always say, her policies and guidelines, half ass, man. Half ass, right? Pretty much. Like, yeah. She, she says, so dinings are closed and stuff, but malls and schools, all this shit is open. Yeah. Where there's more pe gathering of people. Way more, right? And like, like you you like if you like look in the food court or something like yeah, food you, court yeah, yeah, yeah it's just like people like are eating touching everything and yeah, then they like move their mask and they put it back on they like, scratch their <laughs> eyes and they're wearing a glove and they're talking on their phone yeah. like, eating with yeah. the same spoon and you know but they still have a glove on the glove on they think that's they like still, yeah they don't think i saw a lot of people do it in the sky train yeah they had gloves on they touch like the pole and stuff to stand the food, what the <laughs> yeah then they <laughs> touch their face i'm like 10 times worse yeah I wish we did kind of like what New Zealand and Australia did. Like my cousins live there, and they're like fully open, no mask. Yeah, New Zealand's fully yeah, open, yeah. Yeah, no mask, no nothing. So. Yeah, those guys are good. They, yeah. Uh, as soon as they saw, they they strike right away. So Canada waited, 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 waited. 
But I feel like it was kind of like mm-hmm. they made a big mistake, right? It's yeah. like they like okay, we're locked down for two weeks and then open, and then okay, we're gonna lock down again. That's what I said. That doesn't make sense. You yeah. open for two months and you close it back two yeah. months. You're just playing a game with people's lives. People's yeah. lives, bro. Yeah. Like suicides have gone up like crazy. Yeah, like suicides gone up. A lot of depression. Depression. Yeah. If you're a business owner, like especially a restaurant owner. Yeah. Like, like imagine how much money they're losing. Like gyms are still open, but restaurants have shut down. But it's okay for you to go into the gym and sweat all over <laughs> each other. Yeah. And people so close to each yeah. other, but the restaurants no indoor no dining. Idea. Yeah. And you're not even that close. I don't to know, start like, with. Yeah. It makes no the sense. The policy they had in place before this new restriction, it was okay. <laughs> like the seats were far apart. Yeah. yeah. Fuck man, who, 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 just leave it like that. Yeah. Like I think that like COVID like it's like it's gonna be anywhere. You're gonna you're gonna have to go get groceries. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I see some lady, she picked up like fifteen oranges. <laughs> She's like looking at it in the light, puts it down, yeah, look at it and, and didn't even buy it at the end. I'm like, come yeah, on. See, that's yeah. another thing that yeah. you should look out for rather than just close the place or Yeah. And then you get like crazy people, they like I saw on like Instagram some lady was washing her like fruits and vegetables with like chemicals. Like yeah, chemicals, yeah. yeah. Like scrubbing it I'm yeah. like and the Come chemical on. companies are laughing because people like those people they buy making it. Money. Yeah. They're making they money. Yeah. They make money out of these shoes. Yeah. So like, what the hell from the chemical to chemical? You know? Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. Just wash it with regular water. Uh, yeah. You're in the market too, eh? Like stock market. I'm in the stock market too, yeah. Yeah, it's but, crazy. You, know, you always give like good pointers on your Instagram. It's yeah, good, I give good, good pointers out, you know. Yeah. Some people listen, some people some don't. Some people Yeah, yeah. But that's their choice. I'm not gonna force it. Yeah. Anybody. It's crazy though because like in the stock market like a lot of people keep it to themselves but it's like that's just, you should do the opposite you should share it so you should share it invest, yeah, right yeah. like people invest in it and like just like any other like if you're trying to sell something online uh, there's people out here that sell stuff on amazon and shopify yeah but they have a course on the site so i'm not gonna tell you my secrets until you buy my course buy my course yeah and so the many co- of them the, and the course costs like more than the tuition yeah <laughs> more than tuition yeah, yeah the, wow. guy, the, the guy <laughs> who's like looking at it he doesn't know depending what to choose from from a tuition or buy this guy's course yeah that's crazy so, free advice so i give free, free advice, advice man. yeah no it's awesome i think like uh I, you were posting about amc and gme and yeah, stuff like yeah. that back on the road i was like <laughs> wow i had it i had amc at like two dollars and 61 cents yeah back then it was yeah. really cheap right yeah now. super cheap and then like i sold at like 19 something and then well, that's like, where you sold it a lot yeah. of people they kept it they, they thought, kept it right they, they thought it's gonna go like over 100 i said but we're just dreaming but yeah point. yeah right like just, it's crazy because like it goes down when it goes down you lose so much money but if it goes up a little bit yeah, like a dollar, yeah, yeah. it's like you're just barely gaining anything you know no but it's good because yeah. i was reading this article they were saying during covid here a lot of like the younger generation they got into the stock market mm. like smart yeah on regular years before covid like only uh, smart people are doing it, right? Yeah. Well, you give like some kids like two thousand dollars or whatever the serve is, right? Yeah, like, serve. Yeah, yeah. Right. So like these kids like making like two thousand, they didn't, they don't even make that at their job, right? Yeah. <laughs> they hit the lottery. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy, man. Like you like parents that have like four or five kids, man. They like make like two thousand, and like this kid that's like eighteen years old, he makes two thousand. Two thousand, yeah, yeah, just, just by sitting there. Right? Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy, man. So did you uh, uh, always? Uh, What's it called? When did you start doing mixed martial arts? Mixed martial arts. Um, Were you young? I know you did soccer. You said. Yeah, I played soccer. Like I've always played sports. I Until what? What year? Uh, so I was like, when I moved here it was like 1998. Oh, so I was about seven years old, and uh, I moved out here and I was playing soccer like from I guess like when I was like four or five to like yeah. to like when I moved out here when I was like six seven and then. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it was I, I tried to play when I was here and there was just no no guidance and then at a young age like I mean in the Afghan culture right like your <laughs> older brother always fights you right like it's just like in our culture bro like uh, so my brother bro like I kid you not man we would we would fight like he would get off work and I would get off school and we would come home and we would wrestle for like <laughs> two hours bro like two three hours we would just be wrestling he was like a taekwondo uh, brown belt yeah yeah. but we were wrestling like submission wrestling and so like jujitsu comes so natural to me like i started with muay thai and like mma kind of like i didn't get into like specific like wrestling in high school i did a little bit of wrestling but but yeah jujitsu just comes natural because of that like me and my brother we would just he would just always fight me like you know like okay let's let's fight like and like i would we would be sweating bro like 
Like it was, it's like something that sticks in my mind, right? And like in the Afghan culture, bro, like you guys know, like just like cousins and yeah, big families come over, right? come yeah. over, you guys are always fighting and like so. <laughs> yeah, I remember doing that on the bed and stuff. Yeah, on the bed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> your, your parents yell at you like, "What the fuck? What bro? are you guys doing?" Yeah. Like my bed is like flip yeah. left to right here. Yeah. But, uh, or like in the basement or whatever. In the basement, right? Yeah. Go crazy. Man. Is that your favorite style, jujitsu? Jujitsu, yeah. It's just like. I feel like I just gravitated towards that. I like boxing too. Yeah. Like uh, I work a lot of boxing, um, Muay Thai as well. But like Jiu Jitsu is like my kind of like just craft. Like I just gravitated towards that more than anything. It's just like I can look at something just watching it and I can like understand sure. it. It's right? natural. Like it's natural, right? So it always just clicked. And then, uh, yeah, I started wrestling in high school, played some rugby too. And then uh, right after high school, right after grade 12, I started uh, training Muay Thai. Um, just uh, at a place on North Road, and, um, and then yeah, from there I was hooked, man. I was like, <laughs> one of my teammates, he had a he had a fight, and then he asked me to corner with him, and then that day I was like, holy! You fell in love with the sport. Right? I fell in love, yeah, bro. Yeah. I was like, wow, this is amazing. Like just the lights, and it's just like one on one competition. Like yeah, one on competition. Yeah, there's no teammate, nothing like that. Nothing like that. Like it's you need you a and team you. to prepare. Yeah. But yeah. in the end, that door locks. It's just you and yeah, yeah. one other person. <laughs> and it's like one of the only sports where it's like, like you know, like at the end of the 15 minutes or 25 minutes, like yeah, somebody's yeah. winning or somebody's losing. Yeah. Right. So it's crazy. But what's man. your ultimate goal? Get into UFC? Eventually? Yeah, like I just uh, want to just stay like well, lay low like this. Uh, ultimate goal is UFC, um, or like one of the big like one FC, um, or PFL, PFL, Bellator. Yeah. Bellator. yeah. Um, now that you guys, everybody, I don't know if you watched uh, the last one championship where Demetrius got knocked out. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah. Right. right? Damn it, I couldn't believe it either. But then it I just was hoping he'd win. Yeah, me too, man. I'm He's sure, one of my favorite man. fighters. But then it goes to show you like how the talent is there, right? Like yeah, yeah, everybody yeah. thinks talent's rising, man. Talent's rising everywhere. Without even knowing. Yeah. So, like you think one person's good until somebody else comes in and then shows something else. And yeah. Like, wow. And it's a fight, bro. Too like you yeah. like people forget that like it's not like a. Like something like soccer or like something like basketball. Yeah. yeah like yeah. it's like a, like a lot of like talent, but like in MMA or like boxing or something, it's just like a matter of second. Like somebody can just throw one punch. Yeah. Close their eyes close and just <laughs> throw a punch, and it could connect, right? Connect, yeah. Right. Yeah. So, it's crazy. Like, it's Tyron, like, like Tyron Woodley. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Tyron Woodley, right? He, he just put his head down, run forward, and forward, start punching. Yeah. Yeah. And hope one of them lands. But yeah. people don't understand. Like, yeah, UFC is big as a brand, right? But the, the ones below it, like. PFL, even like back in the day, Pride and stuff. Yeah, these they, they had like this crazy prospects coming from there. Mm -hmm. Now a lot of them are in UFC. UFC, yeah, yeah. They don't get like you can't underestimate those uh, other organizations. Mm. Yeah, man. Like and I like with Pride too. It was like one of the only organizations that's like ten minute rounds, right? Yeah, ten minute rounds. Right, so it really favored like grappling. And less restrictions too, right? Less restrictions, yeah. Like you right. kick the face, like you on the ground, soccer kicks. Speaking yeah, yeah. yeah. of kicks, uh, on the last one, Peter Young fought uh, Aljamain Sterling. Yeah. yeah, they fought, and uh, Peter Young uh, did that illegal knee. Yeah, and when that, when that, when he landed that knee in between that time, there was a, like a debate, like why that they, Demetrius Johnson himself. Yeah, he's like that. That knee should be legal. Yeah, yeah. it should be. And you know what? It's funny because he said that, and then it happened, later, it happened to him, and yeah. it was like you know. Careful what you ask. Yeah, what you ask. For. But it, he, he has a true point because in in UFC, like even in this most recent card yesterday, where there was like players just had their hand down. They're just playing that rule, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like just trying to rest there, right? Yeah, so the thing is, you don't know if the guy sees your hand. Like, sometimes exactly, he doesn't right? see it, right? So you can't depend on your hand. Exactly. It, it, it might happen. So yeah. So I don't. I like the. I like the one rule, like name name the guy, because like people just hang out and like even Demetrius Johnson, because for so many years. He's been competing under UFC rules. UFC rules he, yeah. he, like in his mind, like you, in a fight, like you don't really think. Yeah. yeah. You're just like so your subconscious is just going right. So he had that underhook and he thought he was safe, <laughs> right? And then boom, just yeah, the knee yeah. lands, right? So. Yeah, it's one of the legends too. How old is he now? Like thirty-seven, I think. Yeah, I think he's thirty-seven. Yeah. Same age as GSP. Yeah. GSP. Yeah. Yeah. GSP, yeah. 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 GSP man, like uh. That guy needs to come and fight Khabib, man. Yeah, that'd be a cool time. fight. Yeah, that'd be a really good fight. Time. Yeah, I got to train with GSP too. Yeah, yeah I was going to ask that. Yeah. But how is it like training it's with him? One of the like, man, when it goes to, like, when... Faraz is a hobby too, right? Yeah, Faraz too, right? Like, But GSP and Faraz, both, they're just so like 
about the sport, yeah. right? And they're so about helping people, yeah, yeah. right? Where like a lot of places, like they don't tr- like. I went there from the second I got there, they treated me like so well. Rookie. You know, they, like like yeah, like one of their own. Like come to pro practice, yeah, yeah, yeah. come to like the private practice here, come to this private practice here, and they're just so open. But GSP man, like he's he doesn't use his strength. He doesn't use it's all technique, and he doesn't try to hurt you. <laughs> You know, if he if you get him with something, he's okay. He's like, oh yeah, good job, you got me, right? Like he's he's like happy. Whereas like some people, they have like egos, right? Like oh, you, yeah, get him, you get him, you get him, and you're like, oh, in their mind, like I'm going back. I'm, yeah, I'm swinging. This yeah, I'm like, I gotta beat this guy up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This, this kid think he is, you know? So um, no, a lot of respect to GSP man. He's a very humble guy. I got to do a little bit of training, did a couple of his classes. Um, but he was very humble guy. Very what nice is he teaching? Guy. Everything I'm, I'm assuming. Uh, yeah, like for us, uh, we'd go out and like corner fights on like Friday or Saturday or something. Oh, nice, nice, and then nice. GSP would fill in for him, um, or his uh, for us, his brother Amen. Amen, yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen, very nice guy. Teaches exactly like his brother. But, but like, that that gym is a lot of like a lot of killers. A lot of hungry fighters up there, right? Yeah, yeah. Like Arnold Allen, he fought yesterday. Um, he he won, and yeah, he's hungry guys like and then, like you see for all these kids bro they're like six or seven or eight years old and they're like at the end of class he just gets them to spite each other oh, and they're so technical bro <laughs> they're so technical i'm like wow like these kids are getting like if they decide to fight like i don't know if they will because every fighter every like not every fighter but most fighters if you ask if they want their kids to fight they're gonna say no, so no right yeah there, they're gonna say no right so it's a tough sport man it takes takes a lot out of you right like just mentally physically right and if if you're not training like yeah. it's gonna show in the fight how often do you train like um just twice a day twice, twice, twice a day uh about like one to one and a half hours in the morning and then two two and a half hours at night oh shit. yeah so try to do like two sessions every day except for saturday sunday saturday is sparring okay, okay. I try to spar only one day a week because yeah. you know a lot of people like now a lot of stuff. Aggressive, man. Huh? They take it really serious. Yeah, they, they take it serious, right? Yeah, it's aggressive. Wanna, it's like a fight. Yeah, plus you don't want to risk any injuries and stuff. Yeah. Spar, yeah. Right? yeah. Now there's so many ways to spar, right? There's yeah, like yeah. Uh, you can just touch spar and like go lighter, like more technique, right? Because the fights, like if there's people that spar three times a week, and oh, each wow. time it's like it's like a fight. Yeah, so yeah. your brain is just taking damage, 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 damage yeah. right? So it's like running backs in football, right? Yeah, yeah that's right. It's, it's crazy, right? Like this CTE and like all that stuff is no joke. Yeah. So uh, that's good. I, yeah, yeah. I, I watched that last BFO card. Like the whole card was like stacked, man. Like if you if you know the fighters, like yeah, local fighters, local yeah. fighters, like you know they're like upcoming up there. Like Achilles, a big yeah, team. big name, right? Big yeah. name, so yeah, he got, he got. I think he got signed, or he's gonna fight on the contender series. Oh, okay, okay. So I think, or he got, he already got. The Dana White contender series. Yeah, oh, yeah, so or nice. he got signed to the UFC. I, I don't know what, because he was originally supposed to fight. From my understanding of what I saw, was he was originally supposed to fight um, in on contender series, but there was like visa issues. Oh, okay, okay. During COVID and stuff like that, so he couldn't get on, and then. Um, now they're like, okay, he fought like two more times and now he might just get a shot. Yeah, because I, I saw him in person training because there's the gym I go to, Hidden City Fitness. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, he was there, like, all the checkmate, checkmate, uh, checkmate, yeah. They're all there. Yeah, they're all there, yeah, yeah. They're all there, the other guys are there. The, what's the one in Kukatun? West Coast? West Coast, yeah. I forgot, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Achilles is good, man. He's, yeah, he's, yeah. he's, everybody that, spars with him trains with him he's like man he like he's a good fighter he's a good fighter he has a bright future yeah bright future game. yeah a lot of good guys man like um uh my teammate john you know yeah right? john man. that guy's a killer bro yeah i was expecting for his fight but unfortunately yeah he's, he's gonna opponent. be fighting june 4th hopefully yeah yeah he's he's hungry man like bro the problem with him is no one wants to fight him <laughs> you know what i mean he's, he's like, a killer man he's a killer bro he's and he, killer. he's taught me so much bro he's actually like me and him like work really well together because like my my favorite or my forte is like grappling his thing is like straight but he's yeah. he's very good at grappling too right but uh yeah it's just funny bro like no one wants to fight him like this guy's like willing to fight anybody yeah, yeah, yeah. anybody right so and nobody wants to fight he's, him what is what's his weight class is it a uh, 145 okay, okay. yeah so 145 yeah yeah that's uh 
PFO, what's that weight? Uh, featherweight, right? Oh, featherweight, so, yeah, yeah. yeah, featherweight. So it'll be, uh, yeah, 145. He's He was even willing to fight at 150, um, but his last opponent jumped out, like pulled out. <laughs> yeah, I remember he, t- he was telling me, like... He was, like, on crutches, bro. He, John was on crutches, yeah. and he was still willing to fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And it's... So why did the other opponent pull that? He, he told me something about it. Yeah, he got like he had a cut on his eye. Yeah, I was like, come on, man. Could yeah, have, I, could, I think he could have. Yeah, because a cut you can like still train, right? You just can't maybe like spar. Yeah, and the fight was like two weeks before he got injured. Yeah, like, two three weeks. Right? Think, yeah, something like that. Like, yeah, it would have been recovered. Yeah, it would have been recovered, and man, like it, it's just sometimes people just at the last minute they look for mm-hmm. like. Excuses, Some, right? Because sh- shit gets real, like when you're like. They probably saw stuff. John's probably highlight reel and stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're like, fuck this. That's not, what I told him. Like, him. Stop posting stuff, you know? Yeah. Yeah. No, but he's a great guy, too, mm-hmm. in general. Very good guy, yeah. Very nice guy. He's uh, very humble and, like, loves to teach, and he's he's about the martial arts, you know? Yeah. Not a lot of people are like, they have, like, talent, natural, you know? They're just athletic or whatever. He has that, but. He's also like about that life, you know. Yeah. So, because yeah, when I first started, I was doing personal training with him. Yeah. And every move that I did, he would tell you like, "This is wrong." Like, yeah. That, which I liked really about, because you know, there's some trainers they go with the floor. It's like, okay, fuck it. Yeah, yeah. He, they he want did, you to exercise more, right? Yeah, he yeah. did. He did this m- mistake, but I'm not gonna tell him. So yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Let's next move, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But this guy was like pinpoint to everything. Dude. Yeah. Which, which which made him like a good he can be a good coach in the future too I think so too that's what I always tell him but I don't know if that's something he would want to do Pursue, but I, yeah. yeah but I always tell him you'd be like you're you'd be a really good coach because he's super passionate right yeah he's, he's very passionate he loves the sport he loves so, the sport so right I can see him yeah. being in the sport for a long time a long time man but man yeah I, I want to watch his fight June yeah 4th. June 4th man he's got a he's got a good opponent too um I think he's from like Kelowna or something like that so so we'll see. We'll see. Like, uh, what's his fight record? Uh, two and one. Okay. Two and one. Yeah. Um, Yours is five and one or four and one. Four and one. Yeah. Four and one. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. The first, the first fight I lost was such a eye opener for me. You know, it's, it was my first pro fight. PFL two or BFL. BFL. All my pros oh, okay, have been BFL. Yeah. Um, yeah. First pro fight. I go against this guy like. Was that your first fight? That you first lost? fight, first yeah, fight. first fight. Oh. It was my first pro fight, and it was the first <laughs> fight I lost, right? Oh. So, um, it was like a split decision loss. Oh, split decision. Split decision. Those are almost um, shitty. Super shitty because mm. in the first round, I almost finished him with an armbar. Okay, okay. Right, so I, everybody thought I won the first round, and then the second round he won. He was just on top of me. Yeah. Like holding on, like no punches, <laughs> like no. I, I I don't even think I got like hit that fight. That whole. 15 minutes, I don't think I got hit. He was just in side control and he was just holding me. And then third round, I almost finished him with a rear naked choke and they still gave it to him. I was like, what super shocked. Yeah, I was super yeah, shocked. one of those when he comes that close, I mean, they give it away. They give it away, right? And it's like a pro fight too. Yeah. And they give it away to the wrong guy too. Yeah, they give it to the wrong guy, right? So that? Even in the UFC, when the split decision happens, yeah, yeah. Like the guy you know that's, that's, that, that, that won, yeah. Like what the fuck? I it should know. be like an overtime, kind of like basketball or something. Yeah, that's like what that. I said. Yeah, right? like yeah another round. Go one more round. round. If it's that close, let's go one more round. Yeah, because yeah. I, I, I think that's good. Yeah. yeah. I hate split, split decisions and draws. Draws, yeah. Like, it doesn't make sense, bro. You're, you're in the fight game, man. Like, yeah. we, you need a winner. You need a winner. Like a proper like landslide winner. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, just like close. Sometimes I don't know what the judges are even watching. You know. Yeah, and like it's crazy because like the judges aren't even like in like. Like I think, like as a as a judge, you should have like a purple belt in like jujitsu. Yeah, that's, I was going to you know say I mean? that. Yeah, you have to have some sort of experience, some knowledge, sort of, yeah, some oh, sort yeah. of knowledge, right? Like, ha- like that's like me going to ref a soccer game, and it's like, <laughs> like All you right. know what I mean? Like I, I've only played one like when I was like ten, like ten years old. You know what I mean? Yeah, like I'm not gonna go ref a fucking soccer game. Like, it's crazy, man. Yeah, the, yeah, they should do that one more round. One more round, right? overtime. Wins, overtime. Even if it's like. Maybe you don't do five minutes, you do like three minutes. Yeah, three minutes. Over time, yeah. right? That like, gives you enough time to... Solidify something. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Like, okay, it's, this is super close. Whoever wins this round wins. Because imagine if it was for a championship, right? Yeah. The guy that lost with the split decision would be like... And it's so close. Yeah. Yeah, and it's being close. 
like the John Jones fight, like but he thought Dominic Reyes won. Oh, yeah, yeah. that Reyes was close, done. yeah. And split decision when John Jones took it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or Johnny Hendricks versus GSP. Yeah, that, that was that close fight? too. That, that was, was a very, very close, close fight. I didn't expect Johnny Hendricks to come back close, like he yeah. actually did some damage. Yeah. But then GSP won a decision. I feel, yeah, champions, champions, I feel like they get a slight edge. They do, because the UFC, UFC, they want to keep their yeah, champions. Yeah, they right? get a slight edge. Yeah. As long as they can. Unless, unless you're like... Unless someone uh, comes and actually takes it from them. Yeah, unless you're Tyrell Woodley. They don't yeah, like Tyrell Woodley. <laughs> <laughs> Tyrell Woodley's done. Bro. Yeah, they don't like that guy. I feel bad for him, man. The yeah. last fight, even at the press conference, as soon as I saw him like talking, I was like, yeah, man, this guy's going to lose, man. Yeah, yeah. Hey, his, his body talking, language. Like, his soul yeah, body like, language, the way he was talking. Yeah, like normally he had zero confidence in himself. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. people, people look at his physiques and stuff. You know, he's a big guy. But the way he yeah. was talking, man, I was like, damn, man. Your yeah. Usman took yeah. his soul, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I think it's four straight loss for him. Four now. straight losses, yeah. He should just. I don't know what he's gonna do. He's next. up there in the age too. I think he's thirty-eight now. He's thirty-eight, just, yeah, yeah. So. I think like yeah. Once you reach that age, I think like anything above like thirty-six. For the UFC, I think, smart, right? yeah, play smart, go to like a different organization, yeah, yeah. become a champion. Because then he's like thirty eight. He probably has like maybe three years. Yeah, maybe three years. Three yeah. years, maybe four. Like last fight, he looked like he was trying, but he was he was he, first he round, looked too desperate too. Too right? desperate, right? He actually got first the round, guy, he was trying, yeah, but first then round. he got caught too. He yeah. looked too desperate, man. Too desperate, yeah. Yeah, first yeah. round I thought he won for sure. Yeah, and second Point round, one, but, too, yeah. but second round, yeah, like I don't know if he what's, what's next for him. Yeah, I think he. Uh, his style is not it's not that great. Everybody, yeah, no. the, the, the opponents now, the opponents like, now know what he's gonna do. In yeah, the fight. but he doesn't even use his wrestling. No. That's like the a, thing. Like yeah. his wrestling. Back, that's why I was tell tell Abdul like his wrestling used to be like he in his back in the days in his fights he'd always use his wrestling. Yeah, and like, people were scared, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, maybe he'll fake a takedown, but he just stays standing and just. St st waits and just hopes that one big punch, punch lands. lands and yeah. It never does. It's not yeah. gonna happen. <laughs> it happened with Robbie Lawler once. It yeah. happened with Koscheck once. And after that, he thought maybe like you know it's gonna keep happening now. But Even with Robbie Lawler, like he like fainted the shot. Yeah. yeah, yeah right. Yeah. And then he came and threw an overhand. Right. So. Yeah. So like that. Like if you threaten with the takedown, then like you know like Khabib like when he dropped Conor McGregor, right? Yeah. Like. Yeah. like Conor McGregor was like hands down, like just yeah, looking at the takedown. Take right? <laughs> Another one that faked the takedown: Michael Chandler versus Dan Hooker. Oh, you know, Dan exactly. Hooker, the whole fight, right? He was expecting Michael Chandler to come for a takedown. Yeah. And then Michael Chandler kept threatening him. He was like, you know, I'm gonna come. I'm gonna take you down. Yeah. This, you do. And then Dan Hooker was like, Yeah, I'd like to see you try. Just do it. Yeah. And then the whole, as soon as the fight started. Dan Hooker, I'm pretty sure he was waiting for a takedown. Take right? Yeah. So as soon as uh, Michael Chandler, he just dipped down. Yeah. Tried to go for a leg, and I don't yeah. know if it was the left arm. It was hey, the left, yeah, you, left hook. I was like, yeah, what the yeah, heck? It's yeah, over, man. Yeah. That was quick. Quick, bro. Like, like he and, got in his head, man. Like, thinking, I'm going right? to go for a takedown. I'm going to, he's like, yeah, let's do it. Let's go try it, try it. And next thing you know, that through that punch, it'll yeah. go over, man. It's crazy because, like, yeah. you look at, like, uh, someone like Khabib or like even like Floyd Mayweather right like, yeah, yeah. you know what Floyd Mayweather is going to do in his fight but then like when you're in front of him and he's actually doing it doing it yeah it's like different different because, ball game yeah. yeah different ball game because like yeah you can bring people in that are like him but it's not him yeah you yeah, know yeah. he has different setups different timing different everything right like his cardio too man cardio insane. right he just doesn't get tired yeah but he did McGregor actually did pretty good first few rounds against him but yeah that was that was Mayweather's plan the whole time yeah. Let him push, let him get tired, and he, towards the end, he started, like, catching him. Like, yeah. Oh, it's over. You watch boxing a lot, right? Yeah, I love boxing, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah boxing's good, man. Like, Who do you think is, like, the top five all-time? All-time? Yeah, all, all the weight classes. All the weight classes. Uh, I would probably say, like, Mike Tyson, Roy Jones Jr., um, Floyd Mayweather. Like back in the day stuff too. Back like in the uh, day, Muhammad Ali, of course. Um, How so about today? Today's like... Today? Today's, like, today's very hard to choose too, you know, I don't know. The best don't fight the best in yeah, boxing. The fight, yeah, right now, do, they don't do it, so they, it's right? like they're all scared of each other. Yeah, right? If like, they do it, it's all, it has to be for the right money and stuff. Like for the right that. money, It's hard right? for them to yeah, come the, into the, the business and politics, it comes in the... It just doesn't happen. It wasn't like doesn't that happen. back in the day. It was back much in the day, you know, big no. Fights. no you want to fight the best. Back then, you want to fight the best. Yeah, yeah. To be the like, best, right? It's all about yeah. The but now it's all politics and money. Politics, and right? Like, like uh, Terrence Crawford, like, he's trying to. Nobody wants to fight him. Yeah. Like, right? I'm still waiting for that Errol Spence versus Terrence Crawford. Yeah, yeah. I feel like Errol Spence is just ducking him. Ducking him, right? Like, it's just crazy because, like, ha like, 
how do you how are you like one and two and you don't fight each other yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what i mean it doesn't even make sense like i remember mike tyson talking about it too he's like nowadays everybody just takes the easiest route right? yeah, yeah that's right yeah. so cherry picking the fight cherry picking right yeah yeah i think terrence crawford I would, I would, like i always say is right now it's probably pound for pound one of mm. the best if not if not the best yeah the best pound yeah pound. right now like because i'm a, i was a big deontay wilder fan like I was like, man, this guy, this guy just wants to go for the head, man. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what was that guy, the last guy that he beat? Lo Ortiz? Yeah, Luis Ortiz. Oh, man, that was like crazy. David long Ortiz, long. something? Yeah. yeah. Oh, the Wilder, right? Wilder, yeah, yeah, Ortiz fight. That was it. Crazy, man. He had some vicious knockouts. Oh, he has yeah, vicious man, knockouts, yeah. Done, Pro yeah. Problem is with him, like, uh, with the Tyson Fury fight, he blamed his outfit. He's like, my, uh, it was like heavy or something. Right? Yeah, he made a bunch of excuses. He made a <laughs> bunch of excuses, but I feel like you know he's not that technical. No, no, he he just wants to go for that knockout. Yeah, uh, he's good at it. But if he he's good at technical, it, it's gonna be way better. Yeah, but somebody that you bring like Tyson Fury, who's just like you know play, play the mind game and stuff with you. Just super technical. Yeah, like, super technical. Yeah. Like knows he's fast for a guy his size too. Yeah, Tyson Fury. He's yeah. Quick, man. Yeah, Canelo too, man. I forgot about Canelo. Yeah, Canelo, Canelo. another, another guy. Fight. Yeah, only loss was to Floyd Mayweather. Right, and how smart is smart is Floyd to yeah. fight him that time? You that know, time, yeah. it would be Super great early. if they fight again. Yeah, I wonder well, what would happen this time. <laughs> that would be great. It'd be hard. Like I would say, like I think Floyd would lose just because of like the age difference and how yeah. active. Um, See, that's what makes Canelo's. it interesting, though. Yeah, it it's makes it interesting. Yeah, exactly. Because you think, you know, but yeah. yeah. You What's his name? I don't know if you know Andre Rahal. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was talking I, about this. He said Mayweather's still gonna win it just because how he's he's been in the sport for a long time, right? Yeah. So his IQ for boxing is like up there. Yeah, yeah, I think so. But it's just like I feel like uh, you did one thing you lose when you're in like the forties is like uh, your speed a little bit. The speed a bit, right? Like, yeah. um, maybe even power a bit, right? Maybe power too, yeah, right? Yeah. Like. Uh, so like yes, but then again, Floyd is someone who hasn't gotten hit that much, so yeah, his yeah. IQ is still there. Like, like yeah. you know what I mean? He barely so, gets hit. Yeah, yeah he, he barely, barely gets hit, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, when he's like st stuck on the ropes or corners, he knows how to like like block. Block. You know, yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's so good. He's he's very really really good. Yeah. The Pacquiao fight and stuff, like man. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's no way. Like, I don't think any fighter can beat him right now. No. But we'll never find out, man. Yeah. No. <laughs> Now he's yeah. now he's all about the money. Yeah, fighting, he's about the money. Yeah. Fighting Logan Paul and stuff. Yeah, why not? Right? Fight, fight a YouTuber. Fights, and make yeah. Like yeah, it's free money. Millions. You know? yeah, man, people not? people always say like, why fight? Yeah, it's, somebody offers me two hundred fifty million. I'm yeah, fighting. I'll fight anybody. Yeah, I'll fight anybody. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, put me right. Like, Even like an average fight. person would fight anybody. Yeah, average person would fight anybody. I'll take a knockout blow. I don't care. Yeah, right. I'll fight Mike Tyson right now, bro. I wouldn't care, you know. That's why I don't get people don't know when you're in that situation. They're gonna say yes. Yeah, exactly. Now that you're like just a guy, the that's casual that's guy that's just watching. Yeah. Of course you're gonna say criticize guys, criticize uh, Floyd and. Yeah. And it's funny because you're still gonna stuff. watch. You're still gonna watch. That's yeah. the most important thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. At the end of the day, you're gonna talk all shit. That's what they said about the McGregor fight back then. Well, yeah. Like, this shit. Is, this this guy, uh, fight is stupid. Yeah. Next thing you know, they're one behind the TV eating popcorn. And that guy's probably probably spend the most on that day <coughs> for the to watch, watch the fight. Everything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to watch. Yeah, no, Conor McGregor, yeah, that's like what like Conor McGregor was going like this, and then like yeah. like if you look at him as a stock, like, <laughs> yeah, he was like this. You know? <laughs> but now it's like I don't know. now it's like dipping. Yeah, right? now it's dipping. I think he's right? too focused on his like whiskey brand. Bro, when you have like that much money, that much money, it's like for training camp. Like, see, what Floyd is smart because he has his place established he has his gym he has his trainers he has everything like there and all these up-and-comer fighters are like in his gym you know what I mean? whereas conor mcgregor doesn't have that like he's no, in dubai right now training right yeah dubai training, yeah. so it's like it's a little bit different right like like who said it i think it was like gsp he said it super well he's like you can't be comfortable in training camp. yeah right yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, you can't be comfortable in in a in a training camp with with uh, with everything like he has money so he's flying people out um he's like okay like i'll get this guy this guy but like yeah. you're yeah, just comfortable you that's know? right it's almost like conor mcgregor treats the fighting game as like a you know like a, a lifestyle that you know somebody is just playing a game yeah but people like gsp that have so much knowledge and so much passion yeah 
Like they want to be serious with they the sport. Take it serious, yeah. they, they take, take it, it serious. serious. It's like the fight before the fight, man. Yeah. For them. Yeah, exactly, right? It's like a mental build up. Yeah, yeah. And then you go fight, right? Like, but if it's like you're comfortable, mm -hmm. like you're on the beach every day, like you're like, okay, <laughs> I, now I'll go hit pads. Yeah, you know, yeah. Or now I'll go spar. You well, know, that's right? what happened to Woodley. They said as soon as he started doing his rapping. Yeah. Right after his like first rap song, like that's when he first started losing. And it's been like a <laughs> continuous, because he's been too focused on yeah. that. Yeah. I blame his family, bro. Like, I hope yeah. that, like, if I decided to rap and, like, somebody would be like, hey, like, you're an idiot. Stop rapping. Yeah. yeah. Like, rapping yeah, sucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His rapping sucks. Yeah. He made, like, videos and everything. I was yeah. laughing. Yeah, yeah, like the whole production team going on. Like, I don't know how much. I'm sure he spent a lot of money. All a lot of money, right? Like, but at I, the end, his rap, he should have just heard it too. Yeah, or somebody yeah. tell him, like tell somebody, him like your brother or like your family or something. Like, hey, man, like maybe you should rap. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. It seems yeah. like his circle of friends or family is probably just ass kissers and stuff. Yeah, like, you know, yeah, yes, he man, pays, the bills, right? he pays so, the bills, right? Like, pays the bills. Yeah, I guess he's, yeah, that's one of those people. That's why you got to be humble, bro. Like, yeah. Like, I feel like he was the champion. And he wasn't he, humble enough. Was he was never say. humble. He was just always like, I don't know how to say it. Yeah, he was just never humble. Like, he would yeah. he would always think that, like, people were against yeah. him. People yeah, are, like, trying to fight him. And, like, they, oh, like, I'm black and, like, this and that. Like, you know, know what I mean? Me. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm going to do this to him. Yeah. I'm going to do that to him. Yeah. How was the, like, the weight cut stone? What do you do? Do you have a proper... Yeah, like, uh, Kajan, he's, like... Uh, he taught me so much, bro. Like he's as a coach, he was he has experience too. So, so much experience, UFC, bro. Right? Like yeah. if you talk about somebody who devoted their life to martial arts yeah. from a young age, age yeah. it was it's him, bro. Like he, the amount of knowledge that he has and how he's able to teach that. Because, like I can tell you, like okay, like <laughs> to throw a kick, you throw it like this, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, but for him, it's like he breaks it down. Like your hip has to be here, your leg has to do this, like he's just so technical right like i think that like if if he had maybe a few more years in the ufc or if he didn't have a couple of those injuries yeah, yeah, he I could be so. he could have been a champion, champion yeah. because he's so technical he has like uh he's not good like boxing he's not good at like jiu-jitsu like he is good everywhere yeah, but yeah. He, he has so much he's good like he has so many tools everywhere right so if the fight goes to the ground he's good enough he, if the fight's standing he's good, good you know yeah, yeah. So he, he was, right? he was uh, 155, so oh, okay, good, right, he was lightweight, yeah. Um, but yeah, he, he taught me weight class. He like got a few tips from Mike Dolce. Oh, yeah. So uh, weight cut, like this one was felt like it was the, it was the <laughs> most I cut because of like quarantine, right? I was like sitting a little bit heavier than I usually do, but it was easiest. Like didn't feel that stressful. I felt super relaxed. So... Yeah, it was good. It was. I usually c cut about six pounds the day of. Okay. This time I cut about eight. Okay. So, super chill. Yeah, some people like Khabib. I think he walks around. I don't know. He's big boy. He's eh? big boy. Yeah. Khabib. Yeah. Yeah. He's right thick. after he's like now he's a lot. You see, he's a lot. He's, he looks like a little bit heavier now. Yeah. He looks like, like he looks. I he's think he's actually done fighting. I, yeah, I, sort of I feel right like he's he's, yeah, he's enjoying the life right now, man. Coach, right? He's like, talking to uh, DC. What was it? One of those. Uh, shows on UFC you say I'm still sparring he said I think, twice uh, twice a week he's still sparring he's, yeah. he said that too yeah but he trains a lot because he has so many of his own cousins and family members the he UFC wants that, to help yeah. they want to like help like Islam and he's like the coach oh, right? he's like he's he took coach, over his dad's role yeah yeah right? so and Javier Mendes is like the, the the original coach but this guy just yeah he's like a translator and everything gives he's, a lot of pointers because he's He's been there, done it. Yeah. And he's a champion. He's a champion, exactly. So, like, who wouldn't want to listen and get and a he's beat everybody. Him? Yeah. So, it's like, why do I have to keep fighting? Like, for me, like, I but see his point, right? Like, I have millions. I'm a coach. I can make money off my he name. Buy, like, a, uh, like, an organization. But Ego has something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, something, right? yeah, 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 yeah. He changed the name, right? It was something else first. Yeah, I think it was something else before. It was, it was named after that energy drink. Oh, okay. But now he called it like Eagle something. Eagle Championship. Eagle Championship. Oh. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, I've seen right. it. I've seen it like where he, like, and all these, like, all those Dagestani guys. Dagestani right, guys, yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I fought in, uh, I fought in Bahrain for the World Championships. Yeah, I remember, yeah, yeah. And it was, it's like basically like the Olympics of MMA, MMA yeah. you, right? Um, and, uh, so I was fighting and, like, uh, the Bahraini team, they had, like, all Dagestani guys. Oh, no way. 
bro, I was like, how? Oh, like, I guess the, the prince there was like, okay, <laughs> like, you guys are citizens. Like, you guys have a lot of Dagestanis that come in. Right? Because they don't have much money in Dagestan. They no. train hard, good fighters. Good fighters, yeah. Right? So he's like, come here, become Bahrainian. And, and yeah, I think in Abu Dhabi, they built a big gym for all these Dagestanian guys. Yeah, yeah. And all the coaches are Dagestani, all the, right? Yeah. And they're like, big Muslims, right? Yeah. Very like... Uh, devoted to the... Devoted, the region, right? Yeah, yeah I, b- I remember being in the back and uh, the whole like Dagestani guys, they're praying all like together, right? praying together, right? Yeah, yeah. And then I went there and I prayed <laughs> with them. Like I just joined right before my fight and they were like shocked. They were like, oh, this Canadian guy, like, I have like <laughs> tattoos and stuff, yeah, right? Yeah. Like, so they were like super shocked. But then after they showed me so much love, right? You, they're, they're like very like strict Muslims, but they understand that like not everybody's like them like yeah, you know right. there's some strict muslims where they like look down on you right if you don't follow like exactly like, exactly right? yeah, yeah, the whole yeah so yeah, yeah, at the end of the day only god can judge you anyways. exactly at the end of the day yeah. right people say like do you pray like five times uh a day and i'm like i i talk to god like more than five times a day you know yeah, what i mean yeah. like I, I i try to pray as much as i can like you know, it, whether it just be like me just sitting in my car praying or like whatever, right? Like, yeah, yeah. So people people often think like, oh, like you have to pray five times. I'm like, I have more conversations with God than five <laughs> times, you know? Like I always say thank you and I always say alhamdulillah, you know? I yeah. always say all those things like, and I think that the if it comes from here, it's genuine, yeah, it's genuine, genuine right? Yeah. Some people are like, okay, like I prayed five times to the check. Like it's like a checklist, you know what I mean? And it's like, but does that problem, defeat the purpose? The like, funny thing is you brought that up because a lot of those not all of them, but most a lot of the uh, the strict ones too. Yeah, they do the way opposite too. Yeah, behind the curtains. Yeah, like look at the back home, like Afghanistan. Big example. You got all these like uh, imams and all these mullahs and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. They say you no music, no movies, no this and that. Yeah. Just pray, be devoted to the religion. Yeah. And all that, but behind the curtain, man, those same imams and mullahs that told you this. Yeah. Doing all of that, but mo- even maybe more. Yeah, yeah, they worse, have little right? kids. Yeah, they have little kids dancing for them. Yeah, bro. They probably are gonna fucking them in the middle yeah. of the night. Yeah. All that <laughs> stuff. Yeah. 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 It's super messed up, man. Yeah, it's the only super thing that matters is being a good person. And be a good person. People help people. Help people. That's yeah. All that yeah. Matters. Right? Help, help where you can. The rest doesn't matter. Just, exactly. You know, don't just judge them based on like what religion. What they're doing. Yeah. Doing. Just focus on yourself. Yeah. yeah. Like you said, man, every person has a connection to God, man. Yeah. Differently, right? Differently, yeah. Differently, bro. Like, and it's, it's, Whether it's through prayers. There's no rules. Just there's no rule. There's yourself. no right way. Yeah. 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 Just yeah. focus on yourself. Yeah. Whether it's through That's prayers right. or whether it's through, like, meditation, whether it's through, like, spiritually, whatever. Man. Yeah, whatever, right? As long as, I think as long as you're a good person and you're yeah, genuine yeah. and it's not like a, like a checklist, like, okay, no, I gotta get up. No, it Yeah, it shouldn't be a checklist. Because then it's like you're doing it. Not because you want to do now it. Now it's like a chore. It's now not, it's a chore. Yeah, now right? it's not. Now you don't want it. And it doesn't become genuine enough to. Yeah. Now you're just doing it for the heck of it. And you're like just rushing through it. Yeah, you're yeah. like, okay, like, you know, like. You have to get it done. Yeah, get yeah, it, it done. It, it becomes less genuine for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like the connection is not there. Now you just, just want to get over with it. Check, exactly. check, check, get out. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy, yeah. But uh, how was uh, your first fight like? Were you really nervous? I was very nervous because it was like my pro debut and. Um, you know, like it was, was like going through your head. It was like my 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 every. I put a lot of pressure on myself. I was like, okay, like mm. I don't how old were you at that time? Uh, so that was so I'm 29 now. I think it was like 26 or 25. Okay, good. Yeah, and then I was just yeah. I was just like, okay, this is a big step. It was like a fight. This guy was a big name. He was former champion. Had a lot of experience. Um, you know, like all my fights. I never like they always like offer me like two two guys usually and I always pick the better name the better and the name tougher guy, right? Yeah, yeah. Um because if I can't beat these guys then why are you why, 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 like, why are you trying? Right? Yeah, why am I trying? Like I have to be the best locally. Like I have to beat who, whoever is the top in B C right? And then I have to beat everyone the top in Canada, okay. which is the next guy like I'm looking to fight is top guy in like Toronto, right? Like okay, or like I Ontario see. or something yeah, yeah. like on the east side. So yeah, in that first fight, I was just like, in my head, I was overthinking everything. Yeah, yeah. I was like, okay, like, I have to win. Um, I have to win, like, in a type of way, like, make some noise. Like, I, I put a lot of pressure on myself. And at the time, my uncle, like, in our religion, like, our our culture, culture. they don't understand, right? They're like, engineer, doctor. Yeah, yeah just like, typical law, stuff, right? Yeah, like, yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? That's the kind of stuff you have to yeah, do, that's right? right yeah. um, and, like, my uncle's like, 
right before the fight he's like okay like this is gonna be your last one right like <laughs> like you, you know you gotta stop fighting and this and that and i'm like fuck like i gotta fight tomorrow yeah. like you're telling me this now like so that was in my head and i'm like like screw this like i gotta prove all these guys wrong yeah. and then so i was like kind of like fighting i learned so much that fight i was but i was fighting for other people not for myself you know i was like trying to prove other people like wrong i was trying to do like all this stuff and then like i guess it was just like god's lesson to me like listen like you know this isn't a joke like you, you got to be mentally prepared you got to yeah. be physically prepared but you got to be mentally prepared too after that did you think maybe i don't want to do this no after never loss, after that loss like bro like i was in the back i was like very emotional like because like i put so much work into that yeah. camp right because of my pro debut like coming off like my fight before that was for the amateur championship at 145 pounds moved up like went pro and i put so much pressure but i was in the back so emotional i was like especially when it's that close right super close right yeah, and like i i thought i won too right like everybody everybody thought i was like as soon as i walked out of the stage like you like there's a video out and like every single person like people i don't know not even my friends like they're like yo you won that fight you won that fight <laughs> the ref yeah. the promoter <laughs> The promoter came out to me he's like yo i you thought you won that fight, that fight. like would you, you know, do a rematch if the oh 100 but i don't think the guy would do it like you could that? like you would just tell how happy that guy was that yeah. he beat me he was like and then he fought one more and now he hasn't fought in like three it's just years. like ben has been beating robbie lawler once getting that lucky shot i was like no why do i have to fight him again yeah I beat him. but even that like it was like a submission you know what yeah, I mean? this yeah. was like oh man it was just at the end bro like he he was like this like there's like like he was about to tap to the rear naked but then like i was like pulling it too hard because i was just trying to finish him yeah, and yeah. uh he like survived the last 10 seconds and then uh, yeah so i mean i was like if you look at the fight and i dropped him too i dropped him in the fight too in the last round he like f uh threw a cross and he fell and <laughs> yeah so i thought i really won that fight like there was there's no way he would have like any other time like, oh, yeah. he would have won but i guess the the way I look at it was, it was just like a big lesson that God wanted to teach me, like how bad do you really want to do that? So, are you fighting for the championship next? Yeah, that's the next one. Yeah. Who's the champion right now? The Nobody. The oh, last person. Bacon. Yeah, the oh, last I person see. who had it went to the UFC. Who was that? Cole Smith. Cole Smith. Yeah, he got. He was in the UFC. Had two, three fights. What he is the process like if you want to be put to UFC? You have to take another step forward after BFL? Like so my, after this championship fight, inshallah, when I win, um, they're going to give me like an old UFC fighter, like somebody that was in the UFC oh, okay, okay, that got cut. And then uh, they're like, okay, like you guys fight. Oh, I see. And then if I beat him, um, usually like I get in or like fight one more time. And then, oh, okay, okay, I see. Yeah, so I think it's like... Um, Do you have like an agent and stuff that does all the work for you or you just... Uh, I have a close relationship with BFL, like, oh, uh, see, see, see. like as in like I fought for them for a long time, like uh, so they usually approach me. Okay. Uh, see, see. But I do have a management team, management team that works that that I work with, um, Milan Management, and they they do some stuff. But I do majority of my own stuff, like because yeah, yeah. I like to make my own decisions. I like to make like know what's right for me. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. Because yeah. in UFC, all the fighters have like managers and stuff, right? Yeah, that, yeah. Once I reach that level, I think it'll be better. It'll be more useful to yeah, have yeah. somebody deal with that stuff. Um, but right now, it's just like super relaxed. So it's yeah, it makes sense. It makes yeah. So the okay, the fight is weak. So the belt is weak. And vacant, the, yeah. Nobody's held it. Both, both the forty-five and the thirty-five belts. Oh no way! Both no. vacant, right? So. In the real world, in a cool world, it would have been me and John. Like if he was on the last yeah, card, yeah, yeah. If we fought for that, cool. and then we both fought for the title, that would have been like yeah, something cool. Two guys from Tristar, right? Fighting for the title. The title, yeah. Yeah. yeah it would have been nice. Would, would you ever do like a boxing match? I I talked to Dan. I was like, yeah, I would yeah. be interested in doing a boxing match. Yeah, that's um, nice because the, there's an event coming up, right? And there's the a big people? event coming yeah. up, right? Like, uh, so I I wanted to get on it, but. I'm thinking like if I do a boxing match, like you know, then I have to train for a boxing match and then I have to go back to MMA, or like, <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah. I would love to like once, like if I'm, when I'm in the UFC or if I'm in a big promotion, then I would do it, right? Oh, Cause like I'm already in, but like if I'm like trying to get to there, I'd rather just fight more MMA to yeah, get yeah, to there. And then like once I'm there, then I'd be like, okay. Like if you're, I know UFC won't do it, but like Bellator won, they yeah. they will they yeah. have like kickboxing boxing matches and yeah. stuff like that so i would be super open to doing a yeah. boxing match
it would be cool if you do yeah. a boxing match. Boxing seems seems fun. Like it's just like a sweet science, you know. Yeah, so much technical, right? Right. It's just so like much. all you have is hands. Oh, all you have hands. And yeah. Yeah. You footwork have and footwork and the the weaves and yeah, all that stuff. Weaves, like, right? Yeah. Because you have seen nobody uses weaves. No. I haven't seen it. No, not much. Like uh, Calvin Cater. He's yeah, a good yeah. boxer, like Max Holloway. Max Holloway, yeah. yeah. Good, good hands and the good. Last like, fight he won too. Yeah, they both fought each other, right? Like that. That was a sick fight. Oh, well, it was, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, good hands, yeah. Good, good hands, hands, right? Because nobody in the UFC don't see a weave and bob and everything. Yeah. Like, it's all about landing that punch. Landing that punch, right? And people in MMA, I feel like they like you don't throw as hard as you would in boxing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, like you don't need to, yeah, right? Yeah. And it's like if you like. If, you're, if your wrist is like 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 a little bent in any direction, yeah, like yeah. you could break your wrist super easy, right? Yeah. So, or your knuckles or your fingers, like it's all like <laughs> out, right? Yeah, so, yeah, that's right there. It's crazy. It's good stuff. Yeah. Well, man. Yeah, hopefully you win the fight. Yeah, the next one. The yeah. next one, get the championship. Yeah, so either like June 4th or maybe like September. Like I, I don't think they usually have any cards in July or August. So. They recently got into uh, the fight pass, right? The fight pass, pass, yeah, yeah. Was this recent, right? Uh, yeah, super recent. Like that, it just makes sense now because there's no fans, right? Yeah, so, it makes sense. Yes. Right, so they make, uh, they can't really make like locals, like uh, promotions. They make money off fans usually. People that come okay, watch, okay. right? Yeah, yeah. Not so much online, but now if it's all online, then you need like a big platform to makes get sense, views, right? So. Yeah, that's good they got the merch together and signed up signed up right yeah and that way it gets get some exposure you know yeah a lot more people see it because no, so many people have UFC fight pass yeah like now watch local uh, events and stuff local events yeah and it's like 10 bucks right so uh, it's smart the way UFC fight pass does it because why not just pay like nine ninety nine for a month yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to watch it? Whereas like if you go watch a local like fight, like it's like sixty seventy dollar tickets, right? Ticket, yeah. So it's like seven months worth of like fights, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. So it's super smart. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah, super smart. Yeah, man. Yeah. So how about like uh, like nutrition wise, like diet? Like, do you have anything like that, or do you just do the typical Afghan food? Yeah, <laughs> I wish, bro. Like, uh, I if I when I go to my mom's house, like she like always has like a feast, man. Like, and I'm like cutting weight, and she's like, it's just rice or just bread. Like, I'm like, I can't have it. Like, they don't get it. Right? They don't get it, bro. It's like healthy. Yeah. Yeah. So what kind of like diet do you have? Or so like. Nutrition? Like, uh, how long do you stay on it? Or, like, I'm, sh like, I'm sure you keep doing it, right? Even if you're training, yeah. Like, like I, I try to do it a lot. Like, I mean, I eat like when I'm not in a fight. Is it like that throughout the year, or is it through, like, yeah? Like, I try to eat it like that as much as possible. So, like, when I do have a fight, it's not like a big change, right? Whereas a lot of fighters they don't do that, hard, yeah, right? Like, they play like they're like. Like Johnny Hendricks, right? Like <laughs> he's like shit, like oh, and then like look like at shit, him, yeah. now he doesn't make weight and like all that yeah. stuff because his body isn't the same, right? So um, yeah, I try to eat like super clean, like every like Monday to Saturday, yeah. as clean as possible, and then have a cheat day like Sunday. Monday Did we come for it? Like a meal prep company? So I used to like because like I was in the restaurant industry, like very young, like oh, I was a cook. Good. Oh, and then I was sense, like yeah. a manager, right? And then I was like a kitchen <laughs> manager, like so. Like I learned how to cook, yeah. so like I make my own. Cause I I used to work with meal prep companies, but a lot of their food, bro, is like shit. Eh? Shit. Yeah, like shit. you know what I mean? Like they don't season it well. They don't like. Yeah, they it's make bland, it bland. Yeah, yeah. Like they, they, they don't care. They don't care, right? They just want you to like. It's healthy. Yeah, eat, eat it, right? Healthy. Like so, and I feel like there's so much stuff now out, like like seasoning that like. Yeah, yeah, it's healthy, good, right? Yeah. Like no it's salt. Really good, yeah. yeah, it's like yeah, very yeah. healthy for you, right? So like supplements, source, supplements yeah. So yeah, I just because I feel like those guys just meal prep companies they overprice it just because of the uh, convenience. Yeah, That's not, not the quality of the food. Exactly. You're paying for yeah, you're paying for, for the convenience. convenience. Exactly, right? Because you don't have to go out in your kitchen, spend a few hours there, cook it, right? Cook yeah. it. And it's actually so easy, bro. Like I, I like just cook my chicken like for like three days worth, and then I have like. I'll make rice rice is good for three days right yeah, yeah. so like i just have that and then like some salad and... it's hard man we've tried so many times like me and abdul we, yeah. we've tried like i think we how many times uh, that meal, meal we even looked into like week, you know man. we even looked into like meal uh yeah. 
Yeah. You know those programs that show you what to eat and stuff? With the recipe and everything? Oh, yeah, yeah. We did it for like what a week, maybe. That's it. Max. Yeah, that was After that, man, I was like, oh, I'm missing out here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Going back to my. <laughs> back to it. Yeah. Back to the like, Afghan food. I want to yeah. stay on it, but it's hard. It's it's not. It can't be just like a diet plan. It has to be something you can stick to. It has to be a lifestyle, yeah, almost, yeah. no? Yeah, but like it's. Hard one. it's <clears throat> so something cool that I learned, like, yeah. and it's something that like uh, you guys can like apply to, is yeah. like when you. When you, we as humans were like programmed in a way where like we like if there's food available the body and your mind tells you like eat because mm -hmm. like we're designed to survive when there's no food right so one thing cool that I learned is that like when you get like love handles or like uh, big legs and stuff like your body is storing food or like fats there for like a time where like uh if you don't have any more food coming, food coming yeah. right and they put it in those areas because like if if like they put it on your back you'd be like not balanced yeah not balanced. right so this is like on your equilibrium so like you're super balanced and um so when i learned that i was like huh that's super interesting so every time like after i eat i'm like okay like for me it's like always like chocolate or like yeah, candy oh, yeah. or something you know what i mean <laughs> so i just like tell myself right then and there i'm like okay like this is just my my body telling body. me like the food's right here like eat it right <laughs> it's like animals right like you you put a steak in front of a lion it doesn't matter if he's full or like not right that that lion's gonna eat that steak right like he's gonna devour it right so um same kind of idea so it's kind of cool when i learned that i like i like take a moment and i just think and i'm just like okay and it's also good like to occupy yourself like try to get out of the house like when i'm like cutting weight like fight week I'm just like sitting at home and it's like fridge full and it's like less training yeah, and that, like, yeah. the thing is like uh, like even for me at home like if there's if nobody like orders anything like unhealthy like for pizza like pizza for example yeah like, i wouldn't go out of my way to order, order it. it yeah but if i come home and i see a box i'm gonna eat it you're gonna eat it yeah <laughs> exactly eat it, like, like what else like yeah. what's it doing there right <laughs> you know i'm oh. gonna take care of it <laughs> it's so hard too because like, see that's a that's the thing it's hard to like what do you do? Like, yeah, yeah. Hard one. I think you should try to say like the craving. The so craving, right? It's craving, all about craving, right? How do you like resist that? I try to like, uh, like, well, one thing that like I, I, I tend to do is like, A, I keep myself busy and B, I try to like, like if I'm like, okay, like there's pizza, I try to like switch it up. I'm like, okay, like I'll, I'll eat like a cucumber, yeah. right? I try to fill myself up on like, uh, something that's really good that gets like sweet craving out is like blueberries right so i eat a lot of like blueberries um but it's obviously not the same <laughs> like it's not the same you're like <laughs> the pizza still yeah good. the pizza's there it smells so good right like i can't even lie to you guys like yeah, it's, i'd rather we rather eat pizza eat, yeah <laughs> i'd really rather eat like uh the pizza bro yeah. but but like yeah i guess like it's a little yeah. bit different when you like have to make weight right yeah, i think the yeah. other thing is like you gotta ask so why is the pizza there too mm -hmm. yeah like who ordered it? Who ordered it? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta stop being friends with this guy. My brother, yeah. he's always ordering it. Yeah, yeah. Like I think if you have, like, I rarely order pizza. If you like prep like healthy food, just you know those boxes and put it in the fridge, I don't think you'll ever order anything outside. Like yeah. I need this food, let me eat this. Yeah, and it's and it's because like if you do if you do decide to like prep your meals like. The thing is, like, you'll see results in three to four weeks, right? Oh, yeah. So, like, a lot of people give up before that before because they're like, fuck, like, I'm, I'm eating like healthy. Like one week, we last yeah. for a week. But I've yeah. noticed when I go on these diets, I get a lot weaker. It's just, it's, it's so much weaker. Because you're transitioning. Right? It's transitioning because, yeah. like, yeah. like you're so eating weak. so heavy carbs, yeah, you're, you're right? You're Pizza, carbs, carbs cheese, yeah. like, things like that. Like That's all energy, but, like. That's all, like, yeah. uh, bad, like, it's just, like. Bad energy. But yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a little transition, like, for, like, maybe, like, a week first week or 10 days you're gonna feel a little bit like you think you're tired so and stuff but it's actually just mental it's actually just mental and then once you once you continue like you just once you get past that hump you just feel so good after yeah after that one month two months it becomes like a lifestyle it becomes a lifestyle yeah, yeah. you, you, keep, you keep doing it yeah for anything business music anything. the first hump is always the hardest you're right like people who quit smoking right like, yeah quit smoking right that's you can't do it overnight overnight yeah yeah it takes time and effort it takes so much time bro just yeah. like just like eating healthy or prepping food takes effort and time it takes so much effort yeah once you start doing like repetitively you know like yeah. more like reps yeah then you'll be like this is easy so easy right yeah. even like imagine or dreaming and of like uh, healthy food and stuff yeah <laughs> yeah no I'm gonna try. food is just like it's just like 
Man, like, especially like pizza, bro. That's like my weakness, bro. <laughs> yeah, like, I, last night, yeah, last I night, <laughs> box, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. And bro, like, I could just eat. Actually, there was some left over this morning, and I was like, okay, well, I guess I'll have more pizza, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> have more pizza today. So good, bro. Like, it's good, but yeah. yeah, so you meal prep for like, uh. How, 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 how far do you meal prep? Three days, yeah. Three, three days? Three days, usually, yeah. You don't, like, freeze anything? No, I try not to freeze anything. I just, like, I, like do, like, uh, seasoned chicken breast. Yeah. Like, season it myself. Um, and then... What do you eat for, like, carbs and, like... Like, uh, usually, like, brown rice. Okay. Like, uh, whole grain rice, something like that. Yeah. Um, or quinoa. Okay. And then, like, a little bit of salad. Like quinoa um, is hard man, like to eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's tough. I like rice. Normally you can mix yeah. it up. You know, you can mix it up with things like salads and stuff. Salads like that. and stuff. Like yeah. I wouldn't tell. Yeah, when you're mixing quinoa with salad, I wouldn't tell. But if I'm eating with, it tastes like cardboard. If I'm, if oh, I'm, yeah, it tastes like. But yo, the secret is it. like add a add a spoon of hummus. Oh, into really? it oh, really? and mix it mix it in with the quinoa a little bit like and it gives it that once like, it's cooked or once it's cooked yeah well, like when you like serve yourself yeah, that little side put a spoon of like hummus hummus on it oh, that makes a big that's a big game it's changer big, right and it's like well, hummus is only like one one teaspoon is like 15 calories yeah, yeah. it's all chickpeas right so yeah that's good for you yeah super good for you but yeah. you just gotta find like ways to make it delicious you know that's like, the thing if yeah you can make it delicious yeah. you're gonna get bored and you're, you're gonna, gonna get bored yeah yeah Eat. Do you have like plans for it? Like, if somebody like like gone into fighting, do you tell them like what to eat and stuff? Or that's not your thing. Ah, uh, like I mean, I'll always get people like coaching somebody who's like young, six, eight years old, ten. Yeah, ten. Yeah, yeah. Or just a beginner, like sixteen, seventeen. I started late. And yeah. Stuff, you know. Yeah, like the, 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 that's the beauty with fighting. It's like you can get into it later. Like you know, like I feel like with soccer or basketball, you have to be like from birth yeah, like, yeah you know birth, you're like yeah, yeah. you're like teaching your kid, right, kid yeah, yeah. right but uh with with mma like it's such a lifelong journey that like you can you know someone that's 18 19 can get into mma okay, yeah. and like be successful right yeah, yeah. by the time they're like 30 right so and like be successful from 30 to like 40, 40 right? Yeah. right and then and then you're done but um but yeah i, I feel like uh with diet i feel like even though Cajun taught me a lot, I had to like switch it up to like what I like to do, like to right? Do, yeah. Because like Cajun's like so good with like maintaining eating like bland food, like he'll. But he was also like a cook, right? So yeah, he knows yeah, how yeah. to make it delicious for himself, right? <laughs> so, but for me, I'm like, oh, like I can't eat that. Yeah, I don't <laughs> like that, or, you know. So, but he, he's he's his. I used his style, but made it kind of like with what I like, you know. So. Yeah. yeah. But you fight against the world training. Do you ever uh, like do weights and stuff, or you just? I just about? recently started. Like before, like two years ago, like I would never do weights. But in the last, like I do like strength and conditioning. One, like I always did that. But that's like more cardio. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because like for fighting, I don't know. Is there like any benefits of like weightlifting? Yeah, stuff? a lot. Like I, I, or I think I like should have done it sooner. Yeah. yeah. But. I just spend more time learning technique because I feel like when you work out, like you're sore, right? So yeah. then you can't like your muscles tense. So yeah, your like muscles that. are tight. Like you're like you know, so like you can't go as hard. Your legs are like cramping up from squats and stuff like that. But now, I have like a sick routine. So like I like Wednesdays, uh, usually like when Monday, Wednesdays or Wednesday, Fridays, I like do uh, weights in the morning, like for an hour, and it makes a big difference, especially in the in the wrestling. And the wrestling and grappling Cause, cause is you, so strong, right? Yeah, that's like because I when I I just recently like stopped doing weightlifting. I was doing it a lot. I felt like I lost like my mobility and stuff. Yeah, it became more stiff and so stuff. Stiff, man. Mm. Did but, did you stretch after or no? I usually uh, stretch uh, before, before like any workouts. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Like yeah. I use a um, I use a. Uh, have you seen those like terra guns? Oh, tear guns, yeah. tear guns or like uh, hyper ice, like the the little, yeah, yeah, the vibrate. yeah. So like, as soon as I'm done, like doing a heavy weight session, like I'll do that, and it actually like uh, loosens up the muscle. Oh, I see. So you don't get stiff, right? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, but I do know what you mean. That's why I stopped like doing workouts because I didn't want to get stiff or big. Or, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? So because uh, I started with like wrestling when I was young. In, yeah, in high school actually. Oh, you did the wrestling? Yeah. I started when I was grade 8. 
it's like natural in our car culture. Natural, like, yeah. Wrestling, yeah. Th- that's how I fell in love with MMA as well. Yeah. So it's from wrestling. Mm. I saw people wrestle. I saw. Then I started like kickboxing and stuff. It was fun, man. The wrestling, the wrestling classes were so hard too. Yeah. Just yeah. like the just like the warm ups were like. Yeah, the warm-ups. I think the hardest the warm-up martial, martial, like, or the yeah. martial art. I think. Yeah, this is just the warm up. Like I'm already done, man. Yeah, <laughs> it's so funny that you said that because my wrestling coach right now. Uh, Frank Kenso. Uh, no, uh, I I I I've been trying was, to get some training, work in. We were training with Frank. Yeah. Then, yeah. Oh really? Yeah. He he's was good, a, eh? He was a main, main, good, main trainer was him. Wow. Frank yeah, I've been trying to get some work in with him, but no, uh, my only coach I've ever had wrestling, pure wrestling, was Nick Uguala. I don't know if you guys have heard no, of him. No, no. He was like a Commonwealth medalist, but yeah, same thing, bro. Like we would do his warm up, and like I did one of his his first class with him, and I was like, holy, okay, so I guess we're done. And he's like, no, that was just a warm up. I was like, holy yeah. shit. And even when you're done, the cool down stretch. Yeah, but it would even be harder. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, wrestling is so nice, you know. Like, it uh, very hard sport. It's the hardest, I think. Yeah. One of the hardest sports. Yeah, you do so many different exercises. So like, you have gymnastics that they uh, adapt to it. Uh, yeah, so gymna- many other stuff. Yeah, you got to use your body weight for exercises and. And it's always like the thing is like in wrestling you use your neck a lot, neck a lot which yeah. is attached to your spine, right? Which is like. Man, like uh, on uh, Thursday we were doing like wrestling, and I went for this takedown, and like I cut the corner really weird, and I just like hurt my neck <laughs> a little bit, and I'm like, it's just like a matter of inches, you know. You turn, take the wrong turn, it's like your body's like this, you know, and the guy like sprawls, you know. Or, like, do you do wrestling at TriStar or somewhere else? Yeah, we do uh, TriStar. Okay. Um, because I mean, again, Cajun worked with Frost for like so many years so many right years, yeah. and like gsp who gsp the reason why he's so successful he was never like a wrestler no. but he was just he he developed wrestling for mma right yeah, he was his background was karate right karate yeah, yeah, his back yeah. Was karate. so he developed a system him and frauds i guess and cajun was under that and t- yeah his wrestling is like very mma based very like uh setups yeah, yeah. it's not like like a hard double like khabib like He'll grab your leg, <laughs> and you're like, "Fuck!" You know, you like, let go. yeah, you won't let go. Yeah, you won't let go. It's like holding it tight, and he's the got the cardio. His, right? his legs and stuff. The, the way he traps you with his legs. Yeah, it's there's no way in hell you can get, nice get out of that. Super nice, and he's like on top of you, and on top he's of like, you, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, he like traps the leg right up against the cage, and the guy got nowhere to go, and then that's when he starts. Yeah, smashing the guy. Yeah. fought uh, Khabib's like best friend, right? Islam. Oh yeah, Islam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and he said that like when Islam was on top of him. Like, he was so strong at, like, generating power from, like, being on top of you and, like, just little punches like this. But those punches, like, felt like somebody was going like this, <laughs> right? And it was just, like, him going like this. So they, like, generate a lot of power from, like, tight positions, right? These Dagestani, like, wrestling style, right? So yeah, wrestling style, yeah. You, you, you very were different. Very different, American yeah. wrestling. Yeah, American, exactly, right? Yeah, it's very different. Very, like, I think, like, Dagestani wrestling is, like, more, like, savage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know, like, more, like... They yeah. put other stuff into like Sambo. Like, Sambo, like, yeah. A big one. They put some judo in in, in the wrestling and stuff. Yeah, I think yeah. Sambo's a big one because like you have the like yeah, key yeah. or the like right. Stuff, yeah. So like you're able to hold. So once you take that out, right? It's like training with like a weighted vest, right? Yeah, weighted like, vest. Like you yeah. feel like so much lighter. There's nothing to hold on yeah. to. So your wrestling becomes much better. Much right? better, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, I think these Dagestanis they have a good recipe, man. Yeah, yeah, really good yeah, recipe. Crazy. Yeah, they're, they're gonna go far. Yeah. Just love too. That's you train with uh, the other African guy, right? Nasrat. Mm-hmm. You train with him. How is he? He's good too, bro. He's uh, he's really good at boxing. Like he's yeah, got his a, hands are really his like hands smooth. are heavy. Yeah. Like um, he like I went to Montreal with uh, one of other one of my teammates, Bryce. Okay, okay. And he fights. Uh, he fights on BFL two and stuff. And he was Nasrat's like main training partner. Okay, and okay. I saw them to spar like uh, Bryce. He can take a lot of punishment. Yeah, like yeah, he's yeah. very, he's got a strong chin, and he's like very hard head, right? But man, when I saw him and Nazareth sparring, like bro, Nazareth was throwing bombs. <laughs> he was throwing bombs, and they were both just eating everything, yeah, yeah. right? And I was like, holy shit! Like I don't know, I want to spar anything. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like it's oh, not yeah. my style, cause my style is like a lot like Mayweather's in the sense that like I I try not to get hit, like more defensive, mm-hmm. offensive. Whereas, like, a turn, lot of people... Turn defense into offense, right? Turn defense into offense. Like, yeah. create openings, right? Create openings, yeah. And, like, 
whereas like other people they like want to go in there they want to like brawl or like oh, yeah. throw hands and stuff yeah. Balls, yeah, right. yeah I think that's like more of like a 50-50 match right like yeah, anybody yeah. can at land at that point anybody can win right but that's not yeah you gotta be more technical more yeah because two guys come start swinging one of them are gonna get knocked out exactly someone's gonna win yeah <laughs> yeah that's true yeah I remember like the, in my last fight they like asked me they're like oh like what are you gonna do? Like you're gonna wrestle this guy and stuff like that? And I'm like, I never make a plan for my fight. Like, I, I never do. I never like go into a fight thinking, okay, I'm gonna do. I have an idea of like what's available, like watching him, like seeing what's there. But I never go in there thinking like you know. But yeah, I try yeah. to never make it like fifty fifty, you know. Which is kind of stupid. Uh, even the UFC reporters ask, so do you have a game plan for this? Yeah. Like even if the guy has a game plan, you know, just break the, you know, tell his uh, what his plan's gonna be, so the other guy can watch. And exactly. And tell he's not yeah, you may you may study and stuff just so, so you see what kind of fighter he is, but you're not gonna like write everything down, right? Yeah. yeah. But some people do. Some people like are like, oh, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna go knock him out with my right hand or like yeah. throw a head kick or something like that. I feel like if you're confident in yourself, like how you tr how you've been training and stuff, yeah. you'll do good out there no matter what. Yeah. Yeah. Whether. Yeah. So true, man. So true. Yeah, man. So yeah. Thank you for uh, coming in. Oh, my pleasure, man. That was fun. You got any advice for like people that want to start MMA and stuff, or? I think that yeah. like if you want to get into MMA, like, what are the first steps they need to take? I think that you should uh, definitely do a lot of amateur fights. Like something I wish I did more of. Like I've had like maybe fifteen amateur fights, but I wish I had like thirty. You know, yeah. I wish I did it like as soon as I was like 18 I wish I did a, as much amateur fights as possible if you're trying to get into MMA make sure that you <laughs> this is something you love something that's that you want to get into and that you're like super passionate about because it's uh it has the highest highs but the lowest lows yeah. you know so you got to be mentally strong um, but yeah I think that like find yourself a gym that has a great coach right um somebody that has had experience has had fights, fights yeah. a lot of coaches like they've never fought yeah, yeah that's like you know what yeah. i mean so and like how do you like you might not every coach has to fight i'm not saying that but they have to have some experience yeah. something right yeah. like even for us like he wasn't like a high level he was a fighter but he never went high high level right but he had some experience yeah but there's so so little of those kind of people like freddie roach for example yeah his IQ with boxing, like it's, it's huge. Up man. there, right? It's but he's never there, fought, right? He's never fought. Yeah. So it's rare, but it's more like coaches that are like have have fought yeah, yeah. or like have had experience. So find yourself a good gym. Um, leave your ego at the door, man. Yeah. Be humble, bro. Like <laughs> there's I've a lot of humble. gyms that has a lot of egos. Yeah, bro. Like yeah, let it out. Yeah. yeah, and like, man, like don't go in a gym going 110 percent and then expect to other people to go easy on you right yeah, so yeah. yeah man my advice would just be like make sure this is something you want to do and, Dude, it's, yeah. and and it's it's a it's a tough road but it's a very rewarding road mm -hmm. even if you don't end up like making it like i've learned so many lessons in martial arts, martial arts yeah. became a better human became a humble person you know it actually got me out of a lot of bad habits at a young age to like do good habits right so yeah yeah, yeah. yeah in a way it's a good distraction good distraction bro to yeah. like leave anything you know like you not not get into the dark path and stuff. Yeah, because it's easy, right? It's easy, yeah. It's easy. It's like you 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 have a decision. It's like as simple as like a especially when you're party, yeah, right? especially when you're young, right? Like you're in high school, grade 10, 11, 12. Yeah, choices, a lot of temptations. A lot of temptations. A lot of bad influence too, right? Influence. And it's like you're you're at an age where like you're super influenced by not your parents anymore or your, yeah, your family. Yeah, you're you're more influenced by like your, your friends, friends, right? Yeah. So. It's a super easy, easy path to choose. To, yeah. to choose, right? Like that's a good advice. Choose your right friends. Man. Choose the right friends, bro. Choose. You become your circle, right? Yeah. You yeah. become your circle, and and luckily, like my group of friends, man. Like, as much as they've done a lot of, they may have done a lot of bad, but they're yeah, yeah, the they're they're the very um, they're very like humble. They're very driven people, yeah. right? So. Um, even though none of them are fighters, like my close friends, none of them are fighters. They're in martial arts, some of them, but they're just very good people. Yeah, you know? that's, yeah so, that's all that matters. Yeah. Yeah, which is good. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, if you wanna, if you wanna shout anybody out. Yeah, out. big, uh, just big shout out to my team, like at TriStar, um, both Vancouver and Montreal. 
KJ Johnson. Jan Johnson, bro. That guy's like my brother for life, man. Like he's he's taught me so much with everything, man. He's such a good human. Um, so if you guys ever need advice, hit him up, man. He's very honest. You know, he'll always help anybody out. Um, my strength and conditioning at New Edge, my uh, Jiu Jitsu gym, uh, True North Jiu Jitsu, and uh, my CBD company, CBDU. Big shout out to them. They've been helping me out a lot. Myelin Management and uh, my recovery team, Strike Recovery. If you guys ever need like oh, physio. Strike Recovery, yeah. They're yeah. on Hastings there, right? They're on Hastings, bro. They're the, some of the best. They work with like athletes. But like I sent a lot of my friends that are in construction and stuff like that to see them because I think that like as a human you should always go see them even if it's once a month. Yeah, yeah that's right. Because like just like sitting at a desk or constantly working, like your body like needs yeah, adjustments. Right. Adjustments, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. highly yeah. recommend them. Yeah. And shout out to John, man. We need John do it. Yeah, yeah. Podcast, he's gotta come up. He's gonna. He's definitely gonna look out for him, man. June fourth, he's gonna. You're gonna put on a show. Yeah, definitely. Can't wait to see. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Yeah, cool. man. Thank you for coming. Yeah, in. my pleasure, bro. Good luck with the next fight. Yeah. Hopefully, Hopefully you get, get the it, championship. Man. Inshallah, yeah, I Inshallah, will. Inshallah, get into the UFC and yeah, another get the, get the, the, Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. it's not. It's not that. He, it's a tough road, like you said. Tough road, yeah. People think it's just uh, a ticket to just buy and. Yeah, easy way in. Easy way in. No, it's, it takes a lot, um, but I wouldn't change it for anything. You know, yeah, yeah. It's something that I love to do from a young age, man. So, oh, cool. yeah, thank you for thanks, coming, man. man.